Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to this love reading, which explores someone's feelings about you. This reading roughly covers the two-week period between the new moon on July 17th and the full moon on August 1st. I will be tapping into the energy of the person on your mind to find out how they're moving towards you, how they see you, and how they feel about Scorpio. I'll also see whether your head and your heart are on the same page about this person or this connection. And I will close off the reading with what's being held back and advice for Scorpio. But first off, we are going to see what you are each gravitating towards and seeking during this period. So for your person, we have soulmates. And for you, Scorpio, we have compatibility. Okay, so with this soulmates, your person is um, really trying to figure out who is the right match for them. Um, and the best way for them to do that is just to be themselves. If this is a connection that's already established between the two of you, them being themselves, being genuine to who they are, if that still attracts you, then there is that potential for you being a soulmate. Um, if there is no established connection between the two of you yet, then um, you know them being themselves, if you are drawn to that, then there is that potential for you being a soulmate. But ultimately, they are wanting to be in a place where they don't have to try to bend or fake who they are. Um, and really, if you are meant to be together, then that's going to work out um, the way it needs to. With compatibility, it's very similar to this concept of soulmates. Um, it requires each of you to be true to what you want in life, what you want to experience, um, your goals, and how you want to live your life. And if it is, you know, compatible with the other, as opposed to faking something, faking an interest, um, as opposed to kind of ditching your own beliefs to kind of fit in with the other person's or trying to mold who you are to fit into their lives. So let's take a look at how they are moving towards Scorpio. We have the four of pentacles in terms of how they see Scorpio right now. We have the knight of cups. In terms of how they feel about Scorpio, we have the Page of Cups. And the Scorpio, in terms of what your heart is saying about this person, we have the Ten of Cups. And in terms of what your head is saying about this person or your connection, we have the Four of Wands. So here with the, well, actually, let's take a look at the influencing energy of this reading. We have the Nine of Swords and the World card. Okay, so with your person and how they're moving towards you, it may be that they are kind of being stubborn about um, how they approach you, how they are around you. It could be that they are kind of like, this is me, um, this is how I am, and I'm not going to change. And if you're interested, you are. If you're not, then you're not. Um, with this Knight of Cups and how they see Scorpio right now, um, possibly having a, a lot of either romantic options or being very uh, flirtatious or um, someone who is fun loving and kind in terms of how they feel about Scorpio with this page of cups that this is a card of like, you know, having that crush, that kind of like wanting to see where things go. And here with the Ten of Cups being what your heart is saying about this connection, it's as if your heart thinks that you two would really um, be able to kind of support each other in life and that this could go pretty far. Um, with your head saying Four of Wands about this connection, this is a card of commitment, of um, kind of celebrating a milestone it's almost as if you see like long-term 
potential for um, partnership, marriage, and family. With the energy being the Nine of Swords in the world, um, there is a sense of fear and stress about making something happen, whether or not this connection is going to happen, um, and possibly, possibly just being seen at, in the way that is hoped. So... And by that, I mean like there's different ways that we kind of view ourselves or think of ourselves, um, want to um, present ourselves and be seen in a certain way. And this could be a card of like just stress over possibly not being um, seen in that the best light possible. So let's take a look at the four of pentacles in terms of how your person is moving towards you to get some clarification on that we have here the queen of wands so it's kind of i get a sense of like they are moving towards you in a way like this is me um get used to it or can you it's almost like in a way um stubborn and challenging at the same time like can almost can you handle this heat um but let's take a look at this knight of cups which is how they see you uh with the knight of cups and the page of cups with how they see you and how they feel about you it does seem like there is that like romantic desire going on which is interesting with this like um, how they're moving towards you it's it's almost as if like they want you they're putting on a like a a tough front um kind of like um sassy macho but also like which is funny for this queen of wands but with the four of pentacles it's kind of like it's it's very like almost confrontational so but almost like is it like negging um that that kind of gaslighting or negging but let's see about this knight of cups and how they see you right now scorpio we have here seven of cups so they see you as someone who has a lot of options when it comes to dating romance um but also possibly that you don't want to put your eggs in one basket and you should i guess you shouldn't have to so they also um might not want to put all their eggs in one basket but let's see about this page of cups and how they feel about you we have here the king of wands they're very much attracted to you very sexually like attracted to you um and they feel that their, their feelings for you, it's as if they want to kind of, um, they, it's almost like they want to like push your limits um, and see how you're going to react. Um, it's almost like they feel like they, they could take you to like new planes, higher levels, um, but you need to step up to what they have. Um, here we have the nine of pentacles and the five of swords. Um, it's a sense of like, they are very much comfortable in the world they operate in. And this like idea of um, pushing people to their limits is something that they kind of enjoy. So let's take a look at the 10 of cups for your, your heart and what it says about this person or this connection we have here the devil card so with this devil card it's like your heart is saying this could be a potential like love connection with the happy ever after but maybe a little bit of naughtiness as well um kind of like either naughtiness or um repeating 
repeating like uh, negative relationships. But let's see what we have here. We have the high priestess and the emperor. So with this emperor card and this king of wands and this queen of wands, um, it's a sense of like passion, fire, um, really uh, going after something that is um, almost taboo or daring. And with the high priestess, it's like things that are hidden, like almost behind closed doors. It's almost a sense of like control and play at the same time. Um, and that's what I got with this like King of Wands and the Page of Cups. It's like pushing someone to their limits. It's issues of play and control. Um, and then with the Four of Wands, with what your head is saying, you have the Knight of Swords, which is kind of um, wanting to take action, wanting to like make, make things happen, just like kind of going for it. So let's see what that energy is below here. We have the King of Cups and the Six of Swords and the Empress. So it's kind of a sense of really wanting to explore the emotional and sensual connections and really um, being okay with it. Like not, not, really, not really stressing yourself out, not really... Um, putting yourself down for it or even trying to seek other people's opinions for it it's kind of like your head is telling you to kind of do what do what you want um so let's take a look at this world and the nine of swords for the influencing energy to see like what more there is about that we have the wheel of fortune so it's almost a sense of that concept of control and just letting things flow. Um, and with the Nine of Swords here, this is like um, kind of control, trying to co control things that are outside of your control. Um, so it's almost a sense of like, to me, it's concept of like, um, pulling in two directions like uh like pulling someone close and then someone kind of pu pushing that person away and kind of like that back and forth aspect going on here um i'm not sure if it's necessarily part of this compatibility in soulmates um we have the eight of cups and the hermit here and the two of wands it's like something yeah it's like kind of like seeking something and then leaving it um and then kind of having that option uh it does kind of feel like a uh, power play but almost possibly in a sexual way but let's uh let's see what is being held back i guess for some of you it could be more sexual for others of you it's more like a power play in certain relationship patterns so let's see what is being held back scorpio we have obsessed i think i'm obsessed with you i think about you all the time stock your socials and i hope to run into you when i'm out um so there is a sense of um this double like a uh, repeated patterns obsessions Let's see what else we have. We have mother wounds. My mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy within me and externally. Okay. So it could be that concept of, um, you know, this is how I am, bring it. This concepts of like control, like pushing people away and pulling them close or pushing them to their limits type of thing that might be part of this and let's get one more you're mysterious i can never seem to figure you out sometimes i feel like you're hiding something from me never really know where i stand with you so here there is a bit of like boldness and um mystery a little bit of kink involved if you're into kink no judgment um but 
let's see what the advice is for Scorpio. It would be interesting to see um, your head has this Ten of Cups and the Devil. So, I mean, the mother wounds, that also could stem, that could be on both sides um, in terms of connecting with the divine, divine feminine. But ultimately, I do think this concept of compatibility and soulmates is really key here of like, there's no reason to kind of stress about this connection. You're either into what you both like. It's like this is really forcing the situation of you either both have to be into it or you need to kind of move on. So let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. We have water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So for this being advice, it's it's almost as if there are certain tendencies that you identify with yourself as being a Scorpio, uh, whether it's like, you know, <clears throat> being intuitive, uh, being s mysterious, being secretive, um, you know, being uh, sexually adventurous, whatever it is that you identify with, that's kind of being highlighted. You have Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication, uh, issues review everything so it's kind of uh, saying like if you don't intend something if that's not what you want then you need to be clear about it um, because it seems this will be a time where unless you are very clear about what you want and how you are pursuing it um, I guess miscommunication, especially when you're dealing with pushing things to the edge, that's something that can be um, problematic. And you have date night. Get ready to be wined and dined and, you know, something else. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading provides a helpful perspective of how someone is feeling towards you. We'll see you next time. Take care.